everybody. I've now got my two coats of dried gesso on my little bird and I've got to make some decisions regarding the outline. First of all, once again, do I want an outline? For me, yes, I personally find it easier uh, to actually put an outline on because once I apply all the colors, it does make the color or the little image uh, pop a little bit. However, having said that, if I didn't want an outline, at this point I could just start painting uh, with two or three coats of color, uh, solid flat color. So now, since I've decided that I want an outline, the next question is, what color? Some people like to paint an all black outline. So you can see that I've got my palette here. I've got all black so that if I wanted just to do black, then I'd go ahead. For me personally, I find that a little bit uh, too harsh, especially for a child's room. So I either paint with gray, and you can see that I've got two colors of, or two tones of gray here that I've made, or another option is to paint a darker color of whatever color you're going to end up painting the image. So in this case, my final image of the bird is going to be this color, this light blue, and I'm going to outline with a dark blue. Now, I previously showed you my other images where I would outlined with gray. Um, that was mainly for the video to make sure that they all showed up. But for this one, I am going to just outline a little bit with blue. So I've got some water nearby. Again, I've got my little detail brush. And at this point, all I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the most finicky areas. And I'm just going around. Your paint should be fairly liquid, not too thick. If you're using acrylic paints, they can be quite, quite thick. And again, if it's not perfect, I'm not worrying about it because I am going to be using my lighter color. But you can see that already the image is being defined. In the next segment, when I start talking about applying color, I'm going to talk about paints. The paints that I'm using happen to be acrylic paints that you would use for a canvas, but by no means do you need to go out and spend a fortune on paints because paint and tubes cost a lot of money, especially if you're planning to do an awful lot of colors. You notice also that I'm not starting here, and that's because I don't want my hand there. And generally, I either work left to right or up to down. And I keep going back, making sure that my paint is the same consistency. This little detail brush was actually a very expensive little brush. And in the next segment, I'll be talking more about brushes but when it comes to a detail brush, you don't want to skimp too much on that. I would recommend getting a fairly good quality little detail brush because you'll use it a lot. And if it's a bad quality, it will either lose its bristles or it's not going to carry the paint for very long in one continuous line. Okay, so... I think that's pretty good. I think everyone's got the idea.